What up, Wayfinders? Welcome to the Wayfinder Training Force, where I try to keep you updated on all things Wayfinder. So today on this episode, we are going to be talking about CP levels and how much do they matter. I got some information for you guys on that. Um, but before we get started, uh, I, I know I haven't been uh, pumping out videos as often as I usually do. Um, that's due to uh, I've been heavy echo grinding for competitions in the future. Looking forward to it. Can't wait. Um, but it's it's a hard grind. And then I got some new equipment, so I did some upgrades, and I had to install it, and I'm learning that. Uh, but I did just do a video um, on the lore of Wayfinder, my first episode. So if you guys seen that and you like that, I hope to do more. But anyways, I was on the Discord looking at um, the comments, and I saw that Gannick was talking about CP. He was correcting Snorro when uh, he said that um, CP doesn't really matter. And he was talking about how uh, Gannick has this uh, 2750 Venomous. And if he goes in against the Reaver King, that big black poison, he can only take one hit before he goes down. Where if he's got like a heroic Kairos, um, that's 3300, with even worse stats, um, he can take like three, four hits before he, get, before he dies. And he's saying that uh, the reason essentially is because how cp works is it scales so the fine line here with cp is uh scaling right so if you take that high cp terrible stat against uh like the reaver king who has a high cp rating in order to join uh he's gonna do fine but if you go against like a scaled down uh, opponent the the first where it takes your levels and scales it down to the same level as the boss you're gonna suck with those stats so you have to find a fine line. Um, these bosses, they get buffs, essentially, if you're underneath the CP level um, recommended to join. Um, so I asked, I was like, hey, so essentially, you want to meet the power level of the boss and sphere, and then go for high stats for max impact. And he's like, yeah, that's exactly the case. Um, and I found that out, um, too, in testing, because I've been, I've been testing all sorts of builds, trying to see what's going to be best for when I get into competitions. Um, but, like, uh, one of my teammates was telling me, hey, you can take that build and maybe you should go higher weapon power. And I'm like, it doesn't work that well. I've, I actually do better damage with the higher CP, and I didn't understand. Um, but now I do, right? So, and then I... Yesterday I was in the uh, the Discord and we were talking about stats and how much they matter. And it, it's not just me who, who thinks this. There's other people out there that is, there's a there's caps. There's invisible caps. After you hit about like seven eight k, like the buffs from whatever you're going for don't work as well, you guys. So like there's a, like a sweet spot. Like you want to be in like the five six k range. That's the good range for any stat, whether you're going for crit power accuracy weapon power it, it doesn't matter like that that's where you want to be is that 6k 6 to 8k range otherwise it feels like wasted stats and if you have anything below 2k dude you basically have nothing it, it's not going to affect your stats at all um defensive stats are completely broken right now so like i had a a senja build that was um 9, 9k physical defense and 9k um magical defense and and it was dying so quickly it, it wasn't even funny you guys so like and then i tried maxing out resilience and that and that didn't help much either if you want to build a tanky build the way to go about it is to max out your health that's where you can actually feel the difference so that is one of the big stats if you're trying to get survivability is you want to max out the health and then you want to meet the power level of whatever sphere or whatever boss you're going against um but essentially that's 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 the information i found out you guys there is a sweet spot and you got to find it so i'm just trying to help you guys so you guys aren't wasting stats so you guys aren't just maxing out your cp because if you do one or the other it's not going to work out you need to do a combination of both and if you're really good you need to have that adaptability for knowing like what you're getting into so like i'm getting into a uh, 3000 cp uh, sphere so i need to you know add a couple rush echoes to get to that that just crack that 3000 uh barrier of cp so that way i don't die instantly or 
I'm getting scaled down to the 1700 mark, so I need to just max out my stats and take my build down to 2200. So having the ability to adjust on the fly is going to be essential for your builds. So learning your echoes, learning what you like, learning what rushes are good for you and actually help you. And also not all rush echoes are worth the same amount of power level. So I always keep one rush echo un, um, upgraded. And if you go to upgrade it, it'll tell you the power level of the rush echo. It's kind of a nice feature. Um, I'll, I'll probably show a clip here in, uh, above me. I don't have one yet, but anyways, that, those are just some those are just some tips, you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and ask away in the comments, and I'll try to answer. I'm kind of all over the place right now with these lore videos and with competition training and grinding these echoes, but I'm still here for you guys. So let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you guys got some questions, and that's all I got for you guys today. All right, I think I'm going to start doing some giveaways for the base game. I'm giving away some code keys. So if you don't have this game and you're watching me and you're interested or you got friends that um, are interested in joining or you're trying to get them to join the game too, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to start doing some giveaways. So, so keep watching and stay up to date because I might be popping off a few giveaway videos. But anyways, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you guys max out your builds and let me know what you got and what you come up with. I am excited to see what some of you can create. Until then, I'll catch you next time, Wayfinders.